All right, Shalom, Yasha Allah. I want to start off with giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is to the worldly called Jesus Christ, which is his only begotten Son. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth. Preaching this word and laboring this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And I'm going to do this uh, quick lesson. And I believe I'm going to name it America in this Egyptian symbolism. Okay? Because we know in the scriptures that this place, America, Babylon the Great, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And these are one of the reasons why. Because Egypt also represents a place of bondage, but also because the symbolism that it uses from ancient Egypt. And this is all through the spirit. Uh, I was out in New York this past weekend, and I took a picture of this obelisk disc. Okay? A picture of the o obelisk. Obelisk. Uh, out there in New York Central Park. And I figured, I said, well, I'm going to make a lesson on this. Okay? And right now, I've, th through the spirit revealed, it's a perfect time. You know, as I was looking up other things as well. Now, as I was looking up, I decided to say how many obelisks are in America. Okay. And uh, I clicked here. And even these started to go in other countries as well. Let me see. And I believe there is two. Let's see pages in the category of obelisks in the United States. You know what? But well, see, this is this is a little obelisk disc, okay? But it's still a portrait of him using it. Uh, Bunker Hill Monument. Okay, so actually, I guess so. It's stating it says sixty three. Okay, so it's saying there's sixty three obelisks in the United States because. America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt because one of the main things that it uses, other than the bondage, like I said, because it's the house of bondage for the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but it uses the, Amer the Egyptian symbolism, okay? All the symbols, the pyramids on the back of the dollar, the pyramids on the, the tall buildings you see, and the obelisk. And there's many others, okay? They, they, they even have names after uh, uh, the cities that was in Egypt, okay? Now, the picture I just showed you that I showed you from my camera, this is the one that they call it. It's called the Cleopatra's Needle. And where did who Cle Cleopatra come from? Egypt, okay? And this is the same one I had the image of in my phone. See, Cle Cle Cleopatra's Needle in New York City. It's one of the three similar named Egyptian obelisks and was erected in Central Park. See, where did they get it? Egypt. Okay. Egypt. This is where they where they get a lot of their uh a lot of their concepts from, okay? Because Edom, they're not a uh, Edom, the Edomites, which are the so called white man, woman, and child, they're not a uh, the originals of anything, okay? Everything that they uh, they use or they try to come up with is all from uh, ancient civilization, I'll say, okay? Or or of another nation, the better word, okay? They never come up with things on their own. For the f first and f uh, first and foremost, okay? Uh, I just want to read a little bit on it because this is where I was at when I took the picture. It says, uh, I want to get to the point. It says, uh, the United States Consul General at Cario as a gift from the key dive for the United States remaining a friendly neutral as the European powers, France and Britain, uh, maneuvered to secure political control, control of the Egyptian government. 
made of red granite. The obelisk stands about 21 meters, 69 feet high, weighs about 200 tons, and is inscribed with the Egyptian hieroglyphs. See? That's probably, I could probably pull it up better on my phone. But they even have a, the Egyptian hieroglyphs a stone, uh, inscribed in it. It said it was originally erected in the Egyptian city of Helophius on the orders of uh, Thutmose III in 1475 B.C. It says the granite was brought from the quarries of Asan near the first cataract of the Nile. The inscriptions were added about 200 years later by Ramesses II to commemorate his military victories. The obelisks were moved to Alexandria and set up in the Caesarium, a temple built by Cleopatra in honor of Mark Anthony or Julius Caesar, Edomite, by the Romans in 12 BC during the reign of Augustus, Augustus Caesar, but were toppled sometime later. This had the fortress, the fortuitous effect of burying their faces and so preserving most of the hieroglyphs from the effects of weathering. So that's, you know, just a little uh, info on the Cleopatra's Needles, you know, saying where it came from and where it originated. Okay, so let's say there's a 63 obelisk in the United States. All right. And, you know, the main one is, uh, another main one is, uh, what is it, uh, in Washington, D.C., okay? It's called the Washington Monument. You see? There we go there. All right, but just wanted to go into and just show you some uh, Egyptian symbolism, how it carries on with America. So uh, what is the symbolic meaning of the obelisk? It says the, the ancient Egyptians placed pairs of obelisks at the entrance of their temples. According to the Gordon, the columns were associated with the Egyptian sun god and perhaps represented rays of light. And that's what the, the Egyptians was heavy, heavy into, okay? Sun worship. Same thing dealing with Sunday, which represents when you people all go to them churches, all represents sun worship. Okay, let's go to another one. It says America and Egyptian, or I meant it's and, so I'm going to put and. America and Egyptian symbolism, all right? But before then, let's go get a scripture, okay? Because I don't want to continue to ramble on. Scriptures, uh, the scriptures of Revelation 11, verse 8. Okay? 11, verse 8. It says, and it reads, And their dead bodies shall lie in the, sh in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And what does it mean where their dead, dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which the great city is America and Babylon are great? It means that our people will be in a congregation of, of the dead, meaning they will have no understanding, no light. They are spiritually dead. We're in a great city because they don't have the knowledge, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. They don't have the Holy Spirit. So what? They're dead, okay? They're spiritually dead, you know? Not physically, but they're spiritually dead, okay? Let's read it again. So it says, and they're their bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is called spiritually slot, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. And we know another reason why it's uh, for the Sodom, Sodom, because you have a heavy vibration and energy of homosexuals running around. Okay, that's why they passed the laws on the homosexuals, saying all the homosexuals can get married and things like that. Okay, that's that's very heavy. In America, Babylon, and Great. You see? This place is like Sodom. And, and maybe even ten times past Sodom. Okay? Because the, the vibration that the Edomites put out here on the earth. Or the Sodomite. Uh, the Sodomite-ness. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay? So it says this place is especially called Sodom and Egypt. You know? And, and if you if you see, as years go by, this place is getting more wicked. And the ages of Sodomites are getting younger and younger. Okay? They're getting younger and younger. It 
and so it says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Meaning what? His images and everything about him was X'd out where? Here. In this place that is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, which is America. Okay? This is why when people think of the Lord, the true Lord and Savior, you have a shadow of the world and they call Jesus Christ. This is why they think of a so-called white man, a white dude, okay? That's why they look up after the image of Cesare Borgia, because that's what they think of. Because what? His, he was crucified, or his image was crucified here. Okay? Slakia. Now let's go to the symbols. Okay? Now, like I spoke to you before, let's click on the images. And as you can see, and there's many, but I just want to touch on a few. Okay, so this is says what the original 1782 seal, the Egyptian phoenix. Wow. I'm trying to find the ones on the back of the dollar bill with the pyramid. You know, even these tall buildings with the pyramids. Oh, there it go, right here. Perfect. Back of the dollar bill. The pyramid with the all C and I. Okay. Representing symbolism of what? Egypt. Okay. See, people know Egyptian symbolism in Washington. Oh, I didn't know about this one. What's this? The Inca Egyptian. Yeah, only connection with the Incas and the Egyptians, because the Incas, they were Israelites. They were held under the Egyptian captivity. All right? Look at that, man. See, look at the seal. Copying what? The, copying the Egyptians, the Egyptian sun disk. You see? Like I was saying before, America... They cannot come with their own origin. Okay, they have to follow and copy these other nations because they are not the originators of nothing but wickedness. You know, hey, like the scriptures tell you, tell you in the, uh, the the first book of Maccabees that when they came to rule, the Greeks came to rule, evils multiply on the earth. Let's see if I find a few more. That may be the main thing, okay? You know, but that's just the point I wanted to touch on that through the spirit, you know, as I was watching uh, Walk in Central Park. Walk in Central Park. And uh, I seen that disc, the obelisk. And pretty much you could just look it up and, and, and catch all the symbolisms and see, just type in America and Egypt symbolism and you'll catch everything together. All right? You see, you got the seal that was copying what? The, the Egyptian one, the sun disk, and then you got the pyramid. All about on the back of your dollar bill. You know, and all these symbol, sim, uh, symbols be right in, in people's face, but that's too hard for Jake to understand. But, you know, the thing is, just putting it together, this is basically, this is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right, that's the whole point of this lesson, that America uses... The symbolism of Egypt, because this place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay? That's what it is, man.